You look like your skateboard is leaning up against a wall near you, which is cute. Yeah, but I don't want to be Bart Simpson all the time. You are Bart Simpson. <laughs> you know what you are? No, you're Lisa trying to get Bart Simpson's attention. Eat my shorts, Annie. <laughs> the trap house had traps. Mouse trap oh. house. It was the mouse trap house. <laughs> Oh, that's a good fake laugh. Thank you. Oh my God. I'm actually not sure if we're friends now. Whoa. Whoa, how many times has she done? That was, uh, past her. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to Annie Wood. It's a very special episode with a beautiful, hilarious, wonderful jet ski, Jesse Juicy Johnson. We love her so much. She came straight from a road trip from Arizona. She was just so sleepy and so fun. And we had to erase about seven of the things that got messed up on the computer, but this was our final version. And I think it was the best, it was so fun. We just love her, love her, love her. Please enjoy the episode. And you can also enjoy me live on the road. I love doing stand-up comedy more than anything in the world. And I love doing it for you specifically. This weekend, you can see me at the DC Comedy Loft in Washington, DC, one of my favorite places to perform. Then on April 16th, we have an Annie Wood and Friends of the Comedy Store. We have a special guest, John Mulaney, and a lot more um, to be booked. I'm going to be in Spokane, Washington, April 19th and 20th. I'm going to be in Fort Worth, Texas, April 26th and 27th. I have another special Annie Wood and Friends with a, a very, very, very big comic already booked on May 9th for the Netflix as a Joke Festival. And then May 24th and 25th, I'm in Ontario, Canada. And June 28th, 29th, I'm in Jacksonville, Florida and Naples, Florida, October 10th. More dates are always being added. Go to AnnieLetterman.com slash shows. I love you. Welcome to Annie Wood. Hello guys, welcome to Annie Wood episode. It's still episode 72, though it feels like episode 73 because we had some we had some technical difficulties that are making us restart this episode, but I'm so excited. We have Jesse Juicy, Jetski Johnson, Little Veins, and Jet. Her, and Jet. Her new name, Jet. Happy to be here. Oh, what a treat. And and you know what? This is what I like. Jetski did not have a crazy day today. She's well rested. I pretty much sat all day. Yeah, she did nothing except drive <laughs> uh, 12 straight hours, 11 hours to come to our apartment to then spend another 11 hours to try to get out a one hour podcast. I think I saw a UFO on my drive. She thinks she saw a UFO? Sorry to show. interrupt, but I don't know what it was. It was um, around, it was on the 60 going west, like 30 minutes from here. Oh, it was close. Yeah, and it, it had this like really weird like trail that almost seemed to glow in the dark. I don't know what the exhaust was, but that picture, do you know, is that just a missile or? A missile? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it could be a missile. They they test them in California. I don't know, wouldn't there, wouldn't it land somewhere? And I got all mad, explosion? I was like, it could be a missile. <laughs> like, don't ever, my don't second. mistake my missile. <laughs> but the exhaust trail is like glowing in the dark. It's so, very bright and what, it's going, but you would have seen an explosion because it's going down. Well, that was it going up. Oh, it was going up? Yeah, that was its like trail Couldn't of exhaust. You a plane. Planes, planes don't leave trails like that. I uh, look, look, I don't know much, okay? <laughs> Make planes but great. But that ain't no plane. Um, Jetski was, she was Not going, complain I don't about know. that, I'll tell she you was that. Going, Jetski goes, I don't know what's going on. When I post a video, I get thousands of likes. She goes, when I post a picture, I only get like uh, 200 likes. And then she shows me the picture. <laughs> And it's a it's an artistic picture, but it's a cool picture. No, I'm backstage. Is, but... Let me explain it first. I'm backstage at the comedy store. I'm about to go on stage. But we don't get the explanation when we're scrolling. I just want everyone to know that. It's cool. I have a picture just well, like that that got well, almost eight thousand likes. So I don't. I get thought it. you always wanted it near the head. Oh. But do you see how you can't tell what it is? <laughs> it's two feet, but one only one foot you can really see, and the bottom of a trumpet. She's going, I can't believe this didn't go viral. <laughs> no, but I don't understand. I think the algorithm was like, nah, there's no faces. They want to see you think faces. It was the algorithm? Yeah. They, the people that like it. No. They want to see your sweet, sweet face. It has to be the algorithm because there's no way it's thousands of people like my other photos, but everyone else is like, eh, I'm not going to like this. I don't want to speak poorly of people, but do you ever see some of the girls that go a little more closer to the OnlyFans style? All the time. And they post. It's all I follow. And then they post. But they post the selfies that like where they're 
have their boobs out and their butt and then they don't get that many likes. Ooh, go, that's why I don't do it. But how sad, but it, but it, because they've oversaturated the audience. It's too. soul crushing. Yeah, my feet and trumpet, okay, under 300 likes, I get it. Well, if there were bare feet, I think it would have gone to the moon. No, that's- You would have never it, seen likes like that. It would have been like that missile I saw on the way here. <laughs> <laughs> but- That's what it was, someone posted their feet. <laughs> An angel posted her feet. <laughs> I was like, wow, you can see that from miles away. Either an alien posted their feet or an angel did. We don't know what it is, but there were feet involved. I'm not going to do that. Post your feet? Yeah. Maybe when I'm 70. Like Ooh, if, let's get them nice and crusted yeah, up. I always say if I'm losing heat, career eyes, that's when I'll do OnlyFans. And I'm Wait, hoping. Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> when I'm losing heat, heat. I show the feet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, no, everyone's going to start on following me. Who wants to see my feet? <laughs> No, I want to be. Isn't there a fear where you're like, what if my feet did the opposite of what people's feet do for their career? Like they start un getting unfollowed and <laughs> just get washed lose up. everything. <laughs> Bobby and, and Santina are like, we don't know why we ever had her on. Oh, her this feet are disgusting. disgusting. They're nasty. You can't work with that. Ew. We, we vouched for you. Are those her feet or the trumpet? We can't tell. <laughs> can't believe you didn't tell us. That's our name you're representing. This is how long the podcast has been. We're both on our <laughs> second Red Bulls. I'm so honored that you came straight from Prescott, Arizona to come see us. Now, you were saying on the earlier episode that we lost, you were, um, your friend had an exhibit at yeah, a gala. An, an art gala. It was fun. I wore a dress, but I don't have like any fancy clothes. And maybe you can help me. I want to like, I, well, you probably know this about me. If, I have about six shirts. I've seen, and they all are Teddy Fresh. <laughs> they're this is Target, but they all look like Teddy Fresh. Well, your hat's Teddy Fresh. Yeah, Bobby gave me this hat. Oh, but I want cooler clothes and less like. I want to dress hotter. Let's do, but a, still my style. Yeah, but not. You don't want to be like. Uh, you want to be ready like to go. A, a woman, but because I, yeah. I dress like a twelve-year-old, and sometimes I like it, but also, you know. You look like your skateboard is leaning up against a wall near you, which is cute. Yeah, but I don't want to be Bart Simpson all the time. You are Bart Simpson. <laughs> you know who you are? No, you're Lisa trying to get Bart Simpson's attention. Eat my shorts, Annie. <laughs> or you're Maggie. You're Maggie when she grew up. Oh, she does the pass by. This, yeah. is, this is his auntie. Do you understand? That's his auntie. His face is so cute. I'm going to take a picture here and you can add it's it in post. It's just so cute. He's it's such really an angel. cute from my angle. Now, I, we could do a makeover video. We could go find But I also am going through my closet right now. Okay, As M &M. you came over, there's tons of clothes. Yeah. And I thought I was going to go through them and I was going to be like, I want to get rid of all these things. All I did was find more clothes I didn't know I had that I want to keep. That's what I do too in my closet, yeah. I'm like, damn, I have great style. This stuff's so cute. You should keep them because a lot of times too, I have Goodwill bags and then I wait so long that when I go back into the bags, I'm like, no, nah, I want to I keep. changed my mind. I know, but also there's something about when you get rid of stuff and you have that space open, more things come to you. Yeah, and we don't have to make it content, but maybe you could take me, we could go to the mall. and I could something. take you downstairs right now. I could take you down. 12 steps and there's a whole mall <laughs> down there let me tell you program. it's a 12 step program the first step is admitting you have a problem are you I giving up your will. pile of clean clothes down there there's a lot clean, clean a big pile dirty pile we have not had our cleaning lady for a little bit and when maria comes back maria is going to go are you she's gonna go dios mio dios mio she's gonna leave and you'll be like maria Maria, Maria. That was, uh, I was trying to do the Remind Me of West Side Story. We were singing earlier. We had a little song. Um, should we do it for the fourth time? <laughs> <laughs> Brandy, Brandy, Brandy. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, he oh, likes it. He did something. He moved. My whole relationship is me going, Todd, 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 Todd. Randy, what was that? He protects the house. He doesn't. You know what Randy's afraid of? Bags. If a bag flies by, oh, he's yeah. very scared. I get that. Very scared of cats. Very oh. scared of, he hates um, skateboards. So that I'm surprised he's vibing with you. 
I don't have a skateboard. I just vibe a skateboard. I would love to go shopping with you. I like to go shopping with people. I need new clothes. I have like two pants and five shirts. Now, what budget are we doing? Are we having to go to Goodwill or are we going to like a real place? I see you shopped at Target. I think we have to move on from that. I like getting good deals. I wear this like uh, track suit, Mm. like a jacket and people, it's like black with a red stripe. And I Mm. saw someone post like, where'd she get that? I think it was on Reddit. I hate admitting I go on there sometimes, but I do. And so I was like, where'd she get it? And then I saw someone link to like a Poshmark $12. Like, <laughs> but I did. I got it at Marshall's and I'm not shy about it. But every, it's like people think it's cool. Like people think this is Teddy Fresh all the time. This is we probably like go, $9. We <laughs> could go to Ross. We can go anywhere you want. We can make it work. We yeah, can make it work. I want to keep my style, but I need to. I need new clothes. And I have such a hard time picking things out. I've just been like big shirt and pants. So well, I think we're all excited for this. I think there's gonna be a lot of people in the comments going. I'm not gonna Ooh. slut it up, but I do want to dress a little bit my age. But I mean, at this point, how you're am I gonna carded. meet a guy like? At this point, you're getting carded. <laughs> Every time I get carded, yeah, you're getting carded. I They're tried going, to buy cigarettes. Why is this child coming in here? <laughs> I tried to buy cigarettes the other day. I went and I got cigarettes and tampons, and at the gas station. And they're like, "Do you need either of these? No, <laughs> Are you old enough for either of these?" Wait till you hear this. So he get, I go, "Can I get the cigarettes?" And he, he goes, "You smoke?" And I go, "Yeah. What are you, a detective?" And then he's like, "He's like, oh, you just looks too young." And so I. I thought we were like, maybe that's the guy. I thought we were joking. Yeah, he's like, you look too young. That's to the smoke. one. So I go, well, okay. How come you didn't ask if I was old enough for the tampons? <laughs> and he like, I don't think he knew I was joking or wasn't sure. And he looked like mortified. And I swear to God, he goes, I'm Asian. And I go, what? He goes, I'm a- I'm Asian. We don't card for tampons in my culture. <laughs> and it was like. So quiet. And I go, I'm actually oh. shocked there's an Asian on this living on this earth that doesn't know who you are from Bad Friends. And it was it was in Hollywood too. This is this <laughs> man. He didn't even look Asian. I think it was lying. <gasps> he looked Mexican, but but so does Rod. <laughs> what happened? There? I forgot the name of my new producer because we fired Todd. We now have Rod. Dude, Rod, it was so tense. <laughs> Rod is from, um, Rod, where are you from? Hawaii. Oh, give us your Hawaii, best Hawaiian accent, Rod. Uh, Oloa, Waikiki, Analulu, <laughs> Maui. <laughs> That's what a Hawaiian says when he goes down a slide. Maui. Maui. <laughs> now, you should try to workshop that into your dog bite. Oh, that would kill. But- now, earlier in another podcast, I got shut down. I'm not bringing dog woman back again. Guys, you're going to have to it just wait to see work. it live. There's a dog woman bit that you're going to have to, and bit, she was bitten to get the bit. It's it's weird. There's jokes. It's like, you know why they don't work? They're stupid, but like they, it makes me laugh so much, oh, and I just keep trying. And- let me give you a joke that has never worked that I think is really good. And I can have it? You can have let it. Give if, you, you honestly, if you can make it work, please. <laughs> let me give you a joke that's never let worked. Me you, <laughs> let me give you the worst joke I've ever written in my life. Okay, so this was true. I ran into a guy from high school. Did it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm on a roll now. Two red we, is all it takes. We are going on the road together, baby. This has been the problem. We've been going solo on stage and we're, we're blowing it. Okay, so I see this guy. I see a guy from <laughs> high school. Thank you. And he was like, oh, I just ran into Megan. And I, I couldn't remember who she was. I go, who? And he goes, Pizza Face. And I go, oh, I remember Pizza Face. I'm like, isn't that so messed up that you remember people? By their biggest flaws. By the, <laughs> the insulting name that you called them behind their back. I don't do that. Listen. <laughs> That's why there's probably people from my high school going around and they're like, I ran into Anne and they go, who? And they go, oh, you know, the coolest girl in school. (laughs) (laughs) It was a joke I wrote in open mics that I, for, I mean, 15 years in, I'm still trying to make work. That's, I like that joke. I kind of got lost in it because I'm a little sleep deprived with all the driving. No, I I thought you were just, I thought you were actually just talking to me. (laughs) That's, I'm very conversational in my comedy. No, that was great. Do you feel, you're pretty much yourself on stage. Do you feel like you're doing a scooch of a character on stage? Oh, yeah, I turn it up. 
I got to turn it up a little. Yeah. Oh, I'm, you have to, you said? I think I'm being very exactly myself. I don't like to because um, I think I'm pretty boring off stage. Like, I like, like, going grocery shopping. Did you read my mind, you boring bitch? Just kidding. <laughs> well, no, no. That's how I was known in high school. <laughs> that <laughs> boring bitch. <laughs> oh, Jess, Jesse, yeah. I have, like, a sharp wit, but I am. Were I you? do my taxes. Did you have a nickname in high school? <laughs> mm. Not really. Like, I would go by Jesse J. And this was so funny because the singer Jesse J became so famous. And on Facebook, in like 2007 or 2008, she did Saturday Night Live. And some really old guy on Facebook messaged me because it was Jesse J. J. A. Y. on my uh-huh. Facebook. And he was like, You killed it on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's manifesting. Maybe you're going to be the next Shane Gillis. The next pop star. Oh, <laughs> you're going to be getting hot up here. I've been mixing patterns. So this is, these are clothes I just found. This is a robe. I found these pants. I go, oh, I think I like these pants. Yeah, those pants are cool. They're cool, right? Whoa, is that your thong? <laughs> no, it's my, it's my spray. T- I get my, get a thong line with my spray tans. You, you can't just- tell my spray tan because Todd has overexposed me. We did one episode at Whitney Cummings' house and now. Pff, what? We're blown out. Whitney's, ep- Whitney's podcast is so lit. It's like so Like lit. fun? It's so lit. <laughs> it is actually so fun. Do you, have you hung out with Whitney? Here and there, and she's awesome. But she's so good. Yeah, you guys would be cute together. She's really supportive. Like she'll comment sometimes on my Instagram. I know she's so sweet. I like always want to, but I don't want to be like. Uh, Thank you. I don't want to be like every post. Like, oh, you're so funny. <laughs> like, so I like play it cool and don't really say much. Playing it cool is so hard. I never know how to approach. Because especially at Whitney's house, Whitney always has random celebrities at her house that are so meaningful to me. I can't. My life. I can't. I I go so hard. I always, I go. Oh my god! Like you're here, and they're so weirded out. I do the opposite. I go into the other room and wait till they leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like so scared. I'm gonna be weird. You just become the coat rack. <laughs> yeah, I'm like don't mind me. Hey, is your coat in here? <laughs> <laughs> I just wait in the bathroom. <laughs> Yeah, I never know. I never know how to do it. I don't know what people want because I think some people really like to be acknowledged. Yeah. And then others are over it. And I think, too, it's from uh, years of being a production assistant. And when you're a production assistant and I was around stars all the time. This look is starting to make sense. Oh, yeah. This is very production assistant. This is 12 hour work day. (laughs) And they like you're taught to just like when the celebrities are there, like just stay out of their way. Yeah. And don't, you know. Just stand by, but out of sight. Wow. So it's like. <laughs> That's the worst advice for comedy, though. I know. And I'm not a PA anymore, but I think I carry some of that mindset of when I was. And I'm just realizing. I'm that. trying to remember how you were when I first met you. Um, oh, you where, were, do you, where do you want me to park your car, Mrs. I was Letterman? Like, <laughs> I still had keys. I was like, here are my keys before the Tesla card. I think some people still think I worked a lot. Like some of the paid regulars, they don't know me and they're like, handing me their key. And I'm like, oh, I don't work here. You just go to Joyride? <laughs> I should take their car. Do you, so you know who's good tippers and who's not? Yeah. Ooh. We don't even name <laughs> names, but does it rhyme with Schmark Schmarin? <laughs> no, Mark is consistent. He's, yeah, he's consistent, but I know it's not as much as me. And I think no, you, you taught me it's good. And I used to work a lot, and I'm not at the store as often as everyone else. So when I am there, I always tip twenty dollars. A twin's good. A twin's yeah. good. A twin's nice is a nice. It makes such a big difference because a lot of most people, I would say eighty percent of people going a lot are tipping like three to five dollars, maybe if three to ten. If you're breaking, if you're breaking, you're that's bad. Oh, that's what if the, you're the if break. you're going. Do you have change for this five? It's like come on. Yeah, that happens a lot. And so you get a lot of little tips. And then those like couple of 20s you get will like really bring up your whole night. But I will say that when I was broke, I had to just tell people, I'm like, listen, I'm broke. I wish I could tip you. Yeah, that, that's happened to me. Like, I don't have cash on me. And so or if I can't Venmo oh, either. Oh, everyone Venmos now. You're like, oh, there's no way out. I always try to do cash. But the best, and Bobby taught me this, but he's doing like hundreds. But Bobby's a good tipper. He yeah. will go to the improv and do a set and they give him like, uh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. But for me, it's like, I'll get 20 bucks at the improv and then I'll just go to the store and give that 20 back. Yeah. I Sometimes I just give it to the valet guy because I like him at the improv. I've never tipped their valet because. I'm I don't like, use the valet. I just like the guy because yeah. I used to hang out at the improv all the time. But um, Bobby once, I dated a guy who was the sound guy at the improv. He used to be a sound guy years ago. And he 
used to say he was a comedian, but he never did comedy. Okay. It was really weird. It was so creepy and weird. God bless him, shalom. But Bobby once asked him if he was a comic, and he said yes, which is the weird thing he used to always do. It. So Bobby gave him, I think, 100 bucks, maybe even $500. I don't know. You know how Bobby is. Yeah. He goes, here, pay it forward. And I was like, if Bobby finds out that not only do you not do comedy, but you're my living boyfriend, he's going to be so pissed. He gave you $100. <laughs> he took it. Oh, my God. He took Bobby's money. That's mad TV money, baby. Yeah, he's he throw like the best going on the road with Bobby is like he'll be like, go get me a neck pillow from, you know, Hudson News or whatever. And I'll be like, all right. And he'll like, give me a hundred dollars and I'll come back and bring him the change. He's like, what are you doing? Keep it. That's so funny. So like now that that, I, that happened once, like anytime he's like, go get me a coffee. I'm like, all right. And like, he'll I'm give me a hundred dollars. You're like, I always you know how many door guys I'm tipping with this? <laughs> it's true. I do pay it. I do pay it back at the store. And I think it's good because like there's been times where it's like the lot is so packed. Bobby has basically paid most of the people paying are through him because even just his association with me has made me money. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, because yeah. I'm like, here's a lot of the money is because of Bobby's name that <laughs> yeah. I made in my career. I got my apartment because of Bobby because the realtor was like, a big fan of him and so i was like i didn't i worked at the comedy store like i, I couldn't report like how many sh of my earnings i was and so yeah it was just like it was really hard for me to find a place because i didn't have a consistent paycheck right. or I know. You're like, renting this history. one looks really bad you're like this last paycheck looks terrible yeah they're all terrible and then the my last place was like that trap house so it was like there was no rental history so, yeah you know so it's just like but like, i have these references it's from a guy named Chad and there's a guy we name we call him Booger. I don't know what his real name is. <laughs> They're like That's she's chill. Close. They're like she's chill. <laughs> yeah, they they said I'm chill. The the mice loved me there. To go from living with 27 people to living alone. Anytime I get a little bit in a negative space, I like go back to like where I was and where I am, and I'm like, ah, oh, it's better. <laughs> now, um. Are you messy when you're alone? Do you feel like it's harder to stay clean when it's just you? I'm really clean for like oh. one hour of the day. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I like make a big mess. And then before bed, I'll like clean up my mess from the day. Ooh. Like when I open my mail or like if I'm doing taxes or any kind of like writing at my desk where they're, I'm. You are they're, really making it seem like taxes are a daily occurrence. For <laughs> no, you. it's because I just. Like, I do a lot of taxes. <laughs> this was relevant because I just did them and I had like 27 1099s. Yeah. And I've never had a 1099 know, before so in my life. So I'm open. And the worst is those ones where you have to fold the edges uh -huh. and tear them. And I and you always think it's a check, them. even though you know it's not a check. You're going, could this be a check? And then it's never a check. No, it's a reverse check. It's the opposite of a check. And I'm throwing all these trash everywhere and I make a big pile and then. At the end of the day, I just clean up my pile. But then I'm afraid to even throw out any of those pieces, too. The I just trash give, pieces? Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously this part. I'm hoping I accidentally do. And then if they audit me, I'll be like, I, do, I did my best. You hoping to have that moment with them? No, but <laughs> it would be cool if I accidentally didn't. No, remember. they always mess up. I, I, one of my famous stories of the first time I actually was able to, when I first started manifesting money and actually making money Todd and I were living in this old apartment that was so nasty and they had construction everywhere it was just we were in a hell situation oh I remember this yeah do you remember the story yeah well keep going well I, I think had when taken you threw this the money course on the about bed. what's that when you threw the money on the bed no oh that's so that's funny, funny when story. I used to <laughs> I used to Take care of myself on top of money. I was like, how is she going to censor that? Word? I used to take care. I used to enjoy myself on top of a pile of money because I heard you could manifest money that way. But I was broke, so it was like coins, and I would always have like weird <laughs> green circles all over my body. Um, but no, Todd and I went. You're we, just walking, and a coin falls out of your pants. <laughs> my skirt. Um, Sorry. Todd and I went. Thank you for apologizing. It's very disrespectful. I'll at change. This point. Just, yeah, change, like that change that came out of me. <laughs> now, Todd and I go on, we go to visit our families. We come back. They've boarded up the front of the building. It's just getting to be comically horrific to live there. They're threatening to take the pool out. They took our parking. And I look at him. It was like four days before the end of the month. And I go, we're moving out. Next month, we're going to have a new place. I don't care how we're doing. We didn't have any money. I go into the mailbox. And I was taking this course on, it was called the, 
transformational coaching program, this guy, Jim Fortin, I was taking this course and it was all about manifesting and choosing, not assuming things are going to be bad, not being negative. So I go into the mailbox. This is literally shake hands, open the mailbox. There's a letter from the IRS and I go, I start to go, oh no, no, no. How much do I owe them? And then I went, no, 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 you don't know. You're taking this course. I spent I can't remember how much the course was, but I was, it was a lot more money than I'd spent on anything like a course on transformation or anything. So I was like, I'm already spending this money. I'm going to just use my lesson. I'm like, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. And I opened it and it was the government owing me $6,000. For what? Just old back taxes from like 2014 to 2000. Whoa. They had just messed something up. And I got 6,000 bucks, which to me from them, it was crazy. We went from zero to 6,000. And we moved out. We just left all our shit in the apartment. Like these people had treated us so bad. We just left oh like couches. God. We left like rotting things. That big Randy. pile of just trash. We just left. Them and we were just so <laughs> happily left it there. They were just so horrible to us. And, and we moved into this. We came to Venice. We moved into Venice. Wow. And it was so cool. It was so crazy. That's when I, and then it's never gotten bad again. Every time I start to go, is this going bad? You know, you get credit card shot on and off. You know, it's just a cute test. Just a cute test, but it was crazy. And then, um, yeah, you just have to make the decision to leave the situation. That's when you terrible. go, I'm done. Yeah, you have to get things out have to calibrate. Yeah, but I don't know what I would have done because my parents can't lend me. I can't go like, hey, old people that have a finite amount of money that they're running no. out of. Can I have your money? No, this you reach a certain point where it's like you can't do it. No, at this point, it's about you want to earn money to give them. It, you have to flip that. I would go to Bobby before I went to my parents. <laughs> I would never, but I do remember this is just a nice memory, not funny, but when I was doing the podcast with them and I hadn't moved out yet and it was before the tour and they told me, both of them said, you got to get out of there. And if you can't, if you just need some money, we'll give you the money. Aww. And I was like, it wasn't like a pride thing, but I, I did want to like do it by myself. Yeah. And, um, but it always... I think just even having the option, right. I was like, oh, yeah, I can They do gave it. you a net. They gave you a net. Yeah. But it is, yeah, it, there's something, you just have to take those leaps. You have to take those chances. You have to switch your, you can't keep going back to something that's, that's like lower vibration than where your life's going. Yeah. Being in a trap house just didn't match what was no, going on. No, you go on the you. road and it's like beautiful and fun and then you're tired and you just need to rest. But there's and like- you go I'm home and there's like a hundred people and there's no doors. There's, all the doors are taken off the hinges. It's literally like a circus. You, like, have to, you, you have to flip the squatty potty over and use it as a bathtub. As a, as a bathtub. You poop into it. It's like, oh my God. It the was The squatty nuts. potty becomes the potty. It's like you're squatting over the pot. The mice were the last dry. Yeah, <laughs> it's just not, you just grow out of what you can put up I with. I was like, I'm not dealing with this anymore. The gate was so funny too. The gate was so heavy. So I'd get home <laughs> at like 3 a.m. and have to get out of the car and like. <laughs> like oh. Pull this gate open and then pull the car in, get out of the car and then close it. <laughs> and if it rained, it would get all rusty and it was like really hard. to. So I'd be like. Oh. I know it's these little things that are just at the wrong time. Every time I get home and every time I leave. And you're I'm, just so tired and you're maybe a little late leaving or I got to get out and oh, do this Oh, that was thing. the worst if I was running late. Mm. But the store is like the best job for any comic who's not making enough money on the road. Like working at the store is the best job ever. And then you're meeting people and they're passing a lot of door guys now too. So yeah. it's really beneficial to be there. A lot of comics. like Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like people who aren't door guys but they're comics they're either and but they're not getting enough work on the road they're either like working day jobs or they're really struggling and you're still in the world and you're getting even though it's five minute spots at the beginning of the it's still it's the best job in the world yeah you're just around you're just at the you're getting paid to hang out at the best club ever and occasionally throw their trash out. yeah well we had ariana do the the board our last solo episode and we were thinking we want to just keep inviting different door guys in to, to run the it. board yeah it's oh, cool that's Won't be fun yeah but they, it sounds like she messed it up or something. she blew it she, there's not enough chocolate that's gonna fix what happened with obs she's so ariana sweet, ariana is very funny she's so funny yeah. yeah no everyone's so great there it's so it's always been so fun at the comedy store yeah it's every good iteration i've been there through a lot of weird dark times there and but it's always fun yeah it's, it's always good Todd, remember when you took your shoes off on our first date? 
and the whole house and the whole apartment smelled like feet. Oh, it was so stanky. It was disgusting. I said, ew, this boy's so nasty. I'll never marry him. But with Lumi, you'll never have to worry about hotboxing somebody with your body odor ever again. Todd stunk that apartment up. Oh, he stunk it, stunk it, stunk it, stunk it. It smelled like, like sour. Well, I told you it was my feet, but it was actually my crack. It was your crack. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I had to use Lumi. You can choose from scents like clean tangerine, lavender sage, and my absolute favorite, the toasted coconut, and get ready to smell great on even the muggiest days. And when it's muggy out, I'm going, where is this fish filet coming from? And I go, whoa, no, it's coming from these legs. They're open. Oh, with 72 hour odor control, you can put this stuff on your pits, your privates, under your boobs. I've never had under boob. Anywhere you have odor, but wish you didn't. Okay. I wake, Todd has the smooth spot in between his, his, um, coconuts, two balls, his two balls. And, um, it's a very smooth spot. And I like to just spread the loomy like that. It's a very it. stinky, smooth spot, it's stinky, but smooth. And we love that spot so much. Loomy starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice, like a mini body wash and deodorant wipes, and free shipping. As a special offer for our Annie Wood listeners, new customers get $5 off a Lumi starter pack with code Annie5 at lumideodorant.com. That's over 40% off your starter pack when you visit lumideodorant.com and use code Annie5. We love Lumi. We love it so much. We put it on our pits, on our cracks, on our fronts and our backs, on our butts, on our toes, on our little, little, Go where the wee wee goes. I'm excited for the show tomorrow. Oh yeah, we have an Annie Wood and Friends that comes out two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. It was so it good, dude. Sold out. It Our was... surprise guest was Dimitri Martin. Guys, you have to just believe me when I say these surprise guests. Like the surprise guests are always good. He was the first famous person I ever saw in real life. Really? Where'd you see him? I was working at a coffee shop called Jobot in downtown Phoenix. Jobot? Yeah. And it was back then it was like in a house in Roosevelt Row and it was just a coffee. Sh like a lot of the businesses uh -huh. on the street were just old houses that they started oh, selling shit cute. in. It I was like really that. cute. It was infested, but it was really cute. That's yeah, disgusting. But yeah. It's cute. It That's where a, the mouse, the mice began. Yeah. They, then they, they ran to LA. <laughs> yeah. They got one got in my bag. <laughs> no, but it was cool. It was a pregnant mouse got in your bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> started a new life. She in wanted Hollywood. a new life in Hollywood. Oh my God. She wanted to make it in Hollywood. She's now on the corner of my street. <laughs> Shadow boxing. <laughs> I killed her whole family one by one. <laughs> well, I didn't, but the mouse traps did. And then I'd have my roommate take them out. The trap house had traps. <laughs> mouse trap oh. house. It was the mouse trap house. <laughs> now, okay, so and Dimitri Martin came in. Yeah, because it was kind of close to stand up live. So I a lot of I think the comics eventually would start. Did going you want there. to be a comedian at that point? I was a comedian. Oh, you already and were. I wanted to be too. <laughs> I know that part when you're like, I'm both. <laughs> yeah, like I wasn't calling myself a comedian, but I was probably like three or four years in. And then you meet a comedian and you're like, Do I tell them? No, I was like, oh, I, gotta get... I couldn't look him in the eye. And I'll... so I don't remember him really looking me in the yeah. eye. But it was like, I just, I remember being in high school and like watching him on YouTube. And we, YouTube was kind of like new. Not, yeah, new YouTube. for us, like discovering like people on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, and we found Dimitri Martin. I wait. said it three times. Like, maybe she'll laugh. <laughs> wait, do it one more. New tube. <laughs> oh, that's a good fake laugh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm actually not sure if we're friends now. Whoa. Whoa. How many times has she done? That was uh, past her. <laughs> I'm also two Red Bulls in. Past <laughs> her. That was a good. I'm going to fake laugh later and you're going to have to guess when it was. <laughs> was that it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Todd's been trying to make me act out commercials. They'll be like, do what she just did in the commercial. And I'll come in and be like, this is why I never leave the house. Do you play it? Do you play a commercial? No, uh, don't because do anything on that. Yeah, don't do anything on that computer. Don't yeah, touch it. Yeah, we're not it. touching any computers. <laughs> we're, we're in the home stretch. We both started yelling at them. We start screwing our Red Bull raid. <laughs> this is our second Red Bull. Dude, I feel the wings. <clears throat> well. So you're there? Yeah, and I remember, the, remember when he had the posters and uh, the, like, you remember that 
where he had the posters with his jokes and he oh, did the yeah, joke. Oh, yeah, he would have the, yeah, we pulled the Yeah, thing, and yeah. we were just laughing, laughing, watch it, and the years went by, and then, yeah, he was just, like, there, and I've never, that was. Was he holding his. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, can he I get a with him? coffee? <laughs> 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 this guy travels with a Sharpie. <laughs> yeah, I was just, I started, I just got his coffee and, and that's it. I didn't say anything to him because I was too nervous. Like, I, <laughs> it's funny being around so many famous people now it's like they're you know they're just people but the first i got so nervous <laughs> Todd. I'm i don't know i got up. i'm so emotional i'm emotional that she met demich yeah so is this gonna be the first time you're demeeting Chewie <laughs> martin again? well no i met him two days ago and he's asked me to open for him on the road now really yeah your show oh. At your show, it was so good, and uh, I killed it. I had a killer set. I was set. like, "Oh my god, this is crazy!" <laughs> I had a killer set standing we ovation. We can manifest so much on this episode. Standing ovation mid set. Did you see oh, that? Oh my god, they she they were all fake laughing like her, but it's fine. Yeah, I didn't believe. I, I thought that's it was where real. she learned to fake laugh. <laughs> yeah, at, the, at your show, at yeah. my jokes. Yeah. No, the show was amazing. Sold out. It was wild. Jetski killed Dimitri. Actually, it was where he came out on stage during the set to laugh to show her his appreciation. He was clapping. It was he crazy. took the trumpet. He actually took the trumpet from her. Yeah, he played it a little bit. He, he actually recognized her from the coffee shop. <laughs> He's like, "Whoa, are you Jesse from the coffee shop, dude? You made my black drip coffee so good." <laughs> Is that what he ordered? I can't remember. I was like, "Where's your coffee?" Well, okay. So, yeah, Dimitri is... He's so funny. You're going to love... He is... He's a good hang. He's very cool. I can't wait. I'm going to bring the trumpet. Isn't it so exciting when you meet people you're a fan of and they're the best? Yeah, it's the best. It's very rarely happened the other way. I bet if we started meeting singers and stuff, it might be like that. I think singers are more divas. Yeah. Maybe. It depends. Like, I feel like if you're so famous, like, uh, they always say Mariah Ca- uh, Carey is a diva, but right. she's, like, so famous. Like, she it's too famous, yeah. She doesn't have to make con- any more connections. She shouldn't be, yeah, <laughs> she's met enough people. Yeah. <laughs> enough people have crossed her path. But, um, yeah, everyone, I always used to say that about David Spade, too, when people, when I would do a show, and people were like, oh, you met David Spade? I'm like, he's, like, cooler than you think. He's so nice. Yeah, Tim Dillon's really nice to me. And Tim's the best. Yeah. I love, we now got you invited to his house. Yeah, he invited me to a party. You didn't go. Well, I was in Arizona. I didn't go either. I was at a manifestation seminar that I want to tell you about. Todd, take this. Careful, the computer. Oh, thank you. <laughs> she is so... I have to go home at some point. <laughs> She's so good. I have a burp right here. Todd? Todd, <laughs> suck this burp out. <laughs> suck the burp out of my mouth right now, Rod. Oh, Randy wants to. He woke Rod, up from his slumber. Randy. Oh, he's yawning. Oh, oh Todd, look, he's yawning. Oh. I love my son. Oh, is he sleepy? My dog um, got in a, a car accident. Or she got hit by a car. When? Um, Like six weeks ago. You're being so smiley about it. She's so well, cracked out. Hit by a, I mean, car accident is different than hit by a car. I don't know why I said that. That makes car car's bad. Yeah, a car accident makes it sound like she was driving or something. I was like, well, was, was it her or was it <laughs> dog was, woman? <laughs> was it dog woman? <laughs> That's why I was laughing because I was picturing her driving. But she did get hit by a car and she has a cast on. But they took the cast off today and she's just bandaged. And now- Were you with her? No. She was with her father? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you are right to get rid of that man. He's a bad man. He let your dog get hit by a car. Well, he. How but- mad were you at him? I was pretty mad because it was like $5,000, but I filed a claim with my insurance, so I should get like 80% of that back, and then we're going to split like the remaining costs. Okay. How did it happen? Um, he was leaving a dog park. <laughs> we should talk about this. I feel bad. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm like very upset. We're about to name names. No, he felt so, I mean, he loves that dog, but I think he, they were leaving the dog park and a squirrel like jumped out and she, he got away from him. You got to find that squirrel. That squirrel owes you 5,000 bucks. No, it's the guy who hit her. He, I guess he came out of nowhere. Like he was in the parking lot and he was like going fast in the parking lot and he, and Squink got away from him oh. and then the car hit, hit her and then like kind of like backed up and then took off. And so it was just like 
he was just kind of like, what the fuck happened? You know, it happened really fast. It's the scariest thing in the entire world. Yeah. And I was in Salt Lake City, so it's just At like. At least you weren't there to see it, honestly. Uh, yeah, honestly, It would be nice to have a mother's love at that time. Yeah. Was there, is, are there dog ambulances? No, he drove her. Wouldn't that be so cute if, like, a tiny ambulance But up? they hate it the whole ride. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> they hate the siren. Yeah, the siren. Yeah. And he's going, oh. 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 Look, he's like, oh, fine. Oh. 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 Good job. Good job, Randy. <laughs> Smish face. That was awesome. Yeah, Randy kind of. Did you draw a smiley face on your socks? No, they came like that. Is that someone's merch? No. They're just socks. Smiley sock. Randy, oh. oh. Do you want to get up closer to her? <laughs> He's oh, climbing he my arm it. like a tree. Isn't he so cute? I spoon with him like this all night. He's never done this. I remember going to San Jose Improv with you guys and we drove and I was in the back seat and you were in the front seat holding Randy and we kept getting wafts of his breath. <laughs> it was like hot in the car, right? Like, yeah, like every once in a while like, we'd oh, like roll Randy. the windows down. <laughs> My nasty it doesn't boy. smell that now. I think it's when he's sleeping and My breathing. My nasty boy. Well, he didn't drink water for the first two and a half years of his life. Why? And then they put him on. I don't know. He just never had any call to drink just water. Just Mountain Dew or? Yeah, he was just trying. He's actually a drunk. <laughs> he's wasted right now. He only drinks Red Bull. But regular, not sugar-free. He's so cute. I love my boy. This always happens during the show. It just turns into us being like, I love Randy. Randy's so cute. <laughs> oh, I forgot people listen. I feel like you got to tell the dog lady, but. No, I already did it once. It was humiliating. Guys, you missed some true humiliation. I can only try it once. I'll try it tomorrow at your show. Oh, you guys, two days ago, Jet Ski did this crazy joke. It killed. Finally, it, killed. it works. It worked really well. What is it? Is it because superheroes are like... You have to tell what the joke is. <laughs> well, it started from a real place because my sister's dog bit me. And I was really sad. And then immediately after I got sad, I was like, well, what if it gave me like superhero powers like Spider-Man? Getting bitten by the spider and became Spider-Man. So I was like, what if I became dog woman? Now, okay, what's the line from Spider-Man where it's like, where it's like, oh, wait, I should have fake left. <laughs> Edit that in sooner, please. <laughs> Stop. It's not that funny. I fall off. I do the Whitney where Whitney falls off her chair. Whitney's fake <laughs> laugh is wild and it hurts her feelings. <laughs> and it hurts her feelings. She goes so hard. You're like, this is actually, has, it's turned. It's taken a turn. But, um... No, it's just like, it's like, uh, you know, I get super speed and sniffing out crime. But, you know, the first thing I would do is I'd just start licking my own pussy. <laughs> it's funny, you can't all laugh at it. Oh, my God, the Green Goblin has a bus full of children held captive. Don't worry. Dog woman. Ah, she's licking her pussy again. Oh, my God, she has a whole act out. See, here's where you really bomb. When, they, when it bombs and then you keep doing the act out and then it's just like silence. I love it. I think it's so funny. And then so you, pull funny. Out the, you pull out the do, 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 do. trumpet. <laughs> dog woman is here. Dog woman's here. Do, 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 you should get, um, do, 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 do. you should be. In. Dog woman is come to the scene of the crime. You it's, should oh, have, she's licking her you should be like on wires. <laughs> You should be on wires. Yeah, and as you start doing it, you start flying. <laughs> they lift you. Now, okay, wait. What does Spider-Man say where it's like, um, with great power Eat comes great stick. responsibility? He didn't say that. His uncle did. Right as he but was. But you have to be like, you have to do it in like a dog voice. Like, Whoop. I don't even know how to do it. With, how do you with do great it? power comes great responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> Todd, can you do like a Scooby Doo voice saying that? I mean, Rod. A Scooby Doo voice? Yeah. Like, uh, like, uh, with great power comes great responsibility. How could you awesome. not like him? How could you that not was... like my hands? He's so talented. A plus. Can you say it in an Australian accent now? Why? Australian. I just want to show everyone how talented you are. Uh, with our great power. <laughs> 
He likes the joke. He likes yeah, Dog Woman. Exactly. He's like, He's like, don't ever, don't get rid of the bit. What's he doing? Do it in, um... Oh, he's so cute. Do you want help? He likes dog mode. No, no, don't take him from me. Oh, I touch his little penis. It's so little. <laughs> you can't do that. It's getting bigger. You're allowed to. You're his mom. Sometimes I have to wipe it. <laughs> the cock has off it. We still have his balls. You kept them? Yeah, they're in a jar. For real? Mm -hmm. When Squint got spayed, I was like, can we keep the pussy? <laughs> and they're like, it's still there. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, that's not what we do. Um, Todd, can you do it in Eddie Vedder? He nailed that Scooby Doo. I think you should. He's stop so all good. No, he's always he nails all of them. He should stop all he's at. like one impression an episode. <laughs> do it in Ben Glebe. Oh wait, that sorry, that's um that's Andrew Santino that does the best Ben Glebe I've ever heard. He's so life. good at impressions. Todd's very good too. I'm telling you, Todd and Santino. <laughs> I don't should know have if they can go off. ahead to head though. You want them to go ahead to head at your show? Listen, you guys, two days ago, Todd won against Santino, who's not on the show, so it's crazy. He showed up. He showed up just to try he to He showed up Todd. just to, they had a, a, an impression off. Do you think you could take Santino? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. That's yeah. wild talk. This could be. I would play Spets. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we should do that. Because you're so confident. I'm like, well, maybe you'd become close. But... We got to get him on and I'll do it. All right. And the Santino, audience will love it. You've been challenged to an impression off. There's no way. I, it's so funny that I was thinking, I'm like, Todd has the best Ben Glebe. I'm like, no, that's literally Santino. has the funniest Ben Glebe I've ever heard in my life. I make him do it everywhere. I'm always like, Santino, Santino, come here. Is this here? I might have to pick up my dog soon. Guys, we are so sorry. We wanted this to be, we, we've, this actually is the longest episode we've ever recorded. It's just, you'll never know. You'll never know. I've been here for three hours. <laughs> She's been here so long. The pizza is cold. It was good though. We got her some Joe's pizza. She's like, this pizza is almost as good as Joe's pizza. We're like, it is Joe's pizza. <laughs> it tastes better than the one by my house. Now, Jessica, you got your nails done. I mentioned them. And what did you say to me the other day? I said, I was hoping you would notice them. I saw we were on the show together. <laughs> and I was so touched. You were? I was touched. I like the idea of you wanting to show me your nails. Well, I know you you have the best nails in the game. Nails. So. My nails aren't that good right now. And I also really want to play. I've been feeling really, really moved to play guitar and to rock climb again. And these are all short you, fingernail you have to things. Keep nails. Yeah, these are long, but they're shorter than I was getting because the trumpet even I though know. it's just three keys, it's like guitar, you can't. You it's have so to have short being nails. Being hot means you can't do anything else. Hot is a state of mind, okay. though. I know, but nails are so fun. To, it's such a fun, hot accessory. They should make like better stick on nails that you could take off easier. They should have, you know, they have zip off pants where they turn into jeans? Like they turn into pants zip and shorts, off I mean. Nails? Yeah, they've. I heard they you, but I didn't hear you. <laughs> You've never been to REI? You've never been on a hike? <laughs> Actually, I was at REI a I'm couple sorry, weeks ago. I'm sorry, baby girl. you never been on a hike before? I've been doing yoga. You've been doing yoga? Yeah. What kind? Um, Like core yoga and, okay. and hot yoga. Hot yoga at core power? Yeah, and also their regular yoga class. You ever do too. the, the um, Marijuana? mimosa one? <laughs> no. Mimosa they have a mimosa. Yoga? What I like about core power yoga, I never went there what, before I quit drinking, but they have like kind of like a hot girl mimosa brunch one. I no, I can't drink in yoga. I I haven't done hot yoga in a long time. My hot yoga place shut down. I like so core yoga because they're all over the country. So if I travel, yeah. yeah, I went to one in Austin, and there's one right by my house. So it can't. is good to keep a routine when you're on the road. I never have, but it always seems like it would be a good idea. Yoga is the best. I like yoga it. rules. I have a yoga place right near my house that I absolutely adore. I can't tell you the name of it because then you know where I live. But I never, I haven't gone to it in like in a month. Oh, that's not too bad. I'll go back, though. It's just when you're on Ozempic and you're just so <gasps> cute. I can't believe you did that. I know. And look at me. You do look good. Aren't these pants so cute? Randy sniffed your butt when you did that. Randy, come here. It's a little swampy. He looked I'm up. Just, I found so many crazy clothes. I'm so excited about all these clothes, but it's an, I wanted to have more room, and it just did the opposite. You should get one of those standing wardrobe racks. This isn't very entertaining, but you should get one of those. 
they probably like it better than when we're like, how much did they pay in the <laughs> parking lot? Oh yeah, I, sometimes I forget we're recording. <laughs> I know, and it's we always go into a comedy thing, but they, it's okay. People love us together. They love you. Everybody loves Jet Ski. I hope so. Please keep in mind, I drove eleven hours today. When you go on Reddit, do people say mean things about you? And not as much, but I did. I like kind of like go on Reddit every once in a while, and then I delete the app. Oh yeah, so I'm not on there like every day. But. Reddit. The thing with Reddit is it's great when it's not about you, like the not that you're searching other people, but when it when you don't go into the comedy world. Yeah, like if you want to investigate something, you're like, what do people think about this story? Yeah, and then it you really can, is yeah. a good place. So deleting the app is you are losing a, a sect of the internet. That's a pretty cool, but. I've been really good. I made a deal with myself and I do not, I have not gone on, I will not search myself. Oh man, they hate you on here. The, no, well, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. My, you know, but you know what? <laughs> <but> you know. <laughs> I get really hurt. I get like, well, we can just end it here. You wait, pick up your dog, I think, right? no, wait. I think I can get out of it. Well, I was kidding. You actually aren't allowed to leave yet. Sorry. You're actually not allowed to go. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> oh, she's so. This is now I'm kidnapping you. Don't play this game. Red is not gonna like this. They have the beloved and then the mean ogre. Oh. That's what they call me. They call me the mean, the mean ogre. ogre. <laughs> no, they call me the the wife of the scumbag. I'm like the unfunny white bitch with the annoying laugh. Oh, they hate laughs. Yeah. Reddit hates laughs. Yeah. They don't like when people laugh, which is so weird. And they think. Oh, I'm not funny. But I got recognized in a Prescott gas station. They go, are you that from Reddit? That white bitch is not funny? No. He goes, I I go in the gas station. Nobody's in there. And it's like middle of nowhere. It's like right before yeah. Prescott. So it's like middle yeah. of nowhere. Beautiful drive though, right? Yeah, but it was at night. So it was like pitch black. Yeah, I didn't see nothing. And I'm looking at no one's there. And then finally this guy walks in and he looks at me like, and I, I think I'm doing something like I'm not supposed to be there. Right. But you are dressed well for that. Area. I'm literally like, dressed like this. Yeah. It was it was yesterday. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then he he goes, are you are you Jesse Johnson? And I was like, oh. yeah, I was like, oh, my, I thought I was like doing something wrong. Yeah, and he yeah, goes, yeah. no, no, I, I love He's you. He's like, I, you dropped your card. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what always I always so think. Funny. It's I like it's not they I never think they I forget that. I have yeah. a bad memory, so I forget there's hours of footage of me online. Yeah. And then, yeah, so that that kind of made my day. And then, uh, but yeah, then I'm like, so yeah, any, anyway, Reddit, I'm a fan in Prescott and he delivers gas to the yeah. gas station. Okay. So he's a gas delivery guy. And what do you do with your life besides clip clap on there and call her a white, a white demon bitch? How about that? Yeah. This guy fuels America. Okay. Yeah. He's doing God work bringing gas to the cars. No, okay? I just love it. They're talking about me. It's good. Yeah. It's I just don't go on it because it's not, I, it feels like not my business. Yeah. Like uh, people are allowed to talk about me. It's not like you're not allowed to have a Reddit or whatever. It's just, it's just like, I'm not supposed to be in the room when people are saying those things about me. Yeah. It's like if the art had feelings. <laughs> exactly. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just. We could sign off. You want to. I don't want to sign off. I'm going to do something funny. <laughs> Jet ski, show me your boobs. <laughs> They're hilarious. <laughs> Why don't we show They're the like picture? Clown again? Want our picture? Yeah, because we didn't do it for this one. Do, 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 well, you can't. Do. It's stuck in there. No, it was my fingers. Were stuck. <laughs> oh. Ye olde oh, Ren Fair. Oh, oh, there it is. The Ren Fair. Look at this little clown. <laughs> oh, Wait. And we're I all back together. Direction. We're all together again. And Todd has a new skull he made. I would be the worst weather girl. I always go the wrong direction. You know how they have to do it backwards? Oh, I didn't know that. Have you been doing morning TV? No? What do you mean? You have to do press. You have to do morning. Oh, no. They're not asking me to do that. You, they want you to do it. Nah. You just have to go day early. No, no, no. Well, I don't know. I'm so I got a big agent. Big, I got a big time. Hey, I'm a big agent. I want to sign you. They came to my show, and let's take that back. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, this is good. We're a bragging podcast. We're happy for people on this podcast. We want only everyone's dreams to come true. 
That's what my agent said. So <laughs> anyway, I'm going to... Is it the of, guy that sells gas? <laughs> yeah, he's like, I want to sign you. And I was like, all right. Um, but he's like, you know, we're going to deliver gas around America. No, he's got me booked on a bunch of shows coming out. Amazing. So I'm what going, company are you with? Um, UTA. Oh, sweet. Hell yeah. Yeah, and my dad keeps calling it UTI. And I can't tell if he's in on the joke or not. <laughs> he's like really plays uh, Okay, it's been so much fun. <laughs> Guys, we're so scared that we're going to have to redo this. So... <laughs> But I have a bunch of shows, so maybe in this Lego show starting in June, I'll do some press. But cool, I'll start getting weekends. And- it's really fun to do morning news. It's really fun. I don't know, fun. man. It's so I don't think fun. I'd be funny on there because everybody's so not a comedian. But that's what's fun about it. It's like they're scared you're going to say something crazy, and then you're kind of like scared you're going to say something crazy, and then you kind of say something sort of crazy, and then it's fun. <laughs> I would accidentally say it like, something really bad something you've never said in real life it's like <laughs> yeah. the first time which is annie's not funny she would never say that yeah i accidentally go annie letterman's not funny at and, and i'm like that is the worst <laughs> slur anyone has ever heard in this world guys i want to thank you for tuning in for the fifth version of this beautiful <laughs> podcast i love this woman we're gonna go shopping i hope so i hope yeah, we can scrap to. together something and that yeah. you guys feel like you your life is better after listening to this. Listen, I hope you guys had so much fun. We had a blast. Yeah, I had a great time. Um, yeah, it's a, it's very easy and fun to podcast with you. I love you. I always think you're just like a total ray of sunshine. I just absolutely love you. Thank I'm so you, happy Annie. for you. I love you too. And, and I love I'm excited Randy. we get to be in our little journey together. Wait, go back. Oh, <laughs> look at that man. Does bye he look bye. like a man? Oh, he's a good boy. And thank you, Rod, our new producer. Should we end with howling? Yeah, let's end with, um, or should we sing to him again? I think it's a siren. Okay, I do a siren sound. That was good. Thank you. You're so talented. My son, I love my son. <laughs> All right, you guys, welcome to Annie Wood. Thank you for very coming. Good, and we, good, oh my good. God, did we have the best Annie Wood and friends two days ago and all of our dreams came true. Jesse got signed by another agent. She's actually double agent. Yeah. And nobody's ever had a double agent and it's crazy. We got movie deals. I'm actually in a Marvel movie coming out. So I can't She's wait to get to She's playing dog woman. I'm playing dog woman. I get bit by actually Jesse plays the dog which is so crazy yeah, she's actually you- such a good actress that th- she can play the dog but you play the woman when you turn into when the I dog take, when I take the when I take my collar off you become the dog yeah your collar <laughs> You have to put the collar on and become the dog. <laughs> I make the rules. All right. No, I'm just kidding. It's your bet. You make the rules. All right, guys. We're coming to a theater near you. Oh. See you in DC. We really do. We love each other. It's the meat and potatoes. Welcome to Annie Wood. This is the land of the stannies, annies, and fannies, and all of the sleep and nannies, yeah. Welcome to Annie Wood. This is the land of the stannies, annies, and fannies, and all of the sleep and nannies. I'm gonna buy your Oscar. I'm about to prosper. Blingy on my drinky, and Randy is living proper. Protector of the sick, she never let her fishes die. Never known to tell a lie, she even fixed high ties. Shout out to the slugs, shout out Woody's too, shout out SD and Kalila and the Annie Wood crew. Cause this is Annie Wood, you know that this is how I'm living, real and never pretending shit, you know that it's a gift. Welcome to Annie Wood, this is the land of the Stannies, Annies and Fannies and all of the Sipa Nannies.